域展開。無料空所。Alright, guy, yeah. That was weak. It was only three star items, and I really need stuff like four star items. But let's not sweat the small stuff. Hello. I'm already cool with you, though, Brandon. Aloha. Plain cookie. Hello. Let me get like ten of them, boys. And let me get like, yeah, damn, these shockers are expensive, bro. Thank you. Fuck those shockers are expensive. Look at the size of that hotel. Gonna be a real big wig to stay there, huh? Oh, is that your plan? Disguise yourself with a big wig and sneak in? What? No, it's just. I, I just mean, I'd have to be rich. Like they got suites for just presidents and oil barons, you know? All right. Well, uh, good luck. Doubt the presidency's in the cards for us. How does somebody become an oil baron then? I don't know. Start digging, I guess. <laughs> Shallowest answer possible. Thanks. Shallow's no good. You gotta dig deep for oil. <laughs> oh. <sighs> well, didn't strike oil. You sure made the mood, Baron. Huh, Kasuga? Hey, don't make it sound like I was a part of that. Classy Adachi. Hold on, I see a saving hey, weirdo. Yeah, boy, you out the way, man. Okay, you asked for it. Okay, I'm up. Prepare yourself! <laughs> You. I mean, you doing all this running and hiding stuff. Try this. Aren't you resilient? Oh, I missed. Oh, I forgot about you. Oh, he did so much damage. Whatever shall I do? All right. I get rid of him, bro. Let's go. Oh, so you're gonna be one of those guys. In that case, how is he missing so much? Can't miss if somebody grabbing you though. What the fuck? Like oh, I know I do. Fuck this. No, let's do this guy. Now what are you gonna do? <laughs> fuck you think he was. Should I open it? Yeah, open that bad boy. What's in here? Oh. Hey, you got me to level five, though. Gotta uh, get the other one now locked. Body back into the house tonight. Damn. Oh, uh, well, I really need the MP, though. Oh, oh, that pricier than a ride. Bad. I know, right? Knock it off with the staring. I stare as long as I want to stare. And what are you going to do about it? I'm feeling great. Them boys over here being business, that's for sure. Harbor Street. You know, I came over earlier. I was actually supposed to be looking for like a school that was like someplace that the little island jump was telling me about, but I ain't find it yet. I'm gonna find it at some point though. Bro, how far away are we? Aloha. Meg. It's over here. Hey. Owen. 
Infrared goggles. Natural herb. Oh, yeah, you think you Majima, don't you, boy? Stop it. Who is this guy? I feel like he's supposed to be something. Uh, it's probably to lead to a mission or something. And I was over here. Oh, on a ship? Hmm. Or is it the truck? No. Oh. She tells her I really think somebody's stupid, bro. You think we, she just so happened to be gone. And uh, she went ahead. I'm trying to tell you, I already know what it was. She went ahead to the location and tried to see if they were there. If they were there, she was going to go ahead and try to take them. I'm already knowing, bro. Yeah. Body rockings to the house. Money. Hmm? Yeah, why are you giving the money back? Yeah, I'm not I'm not complaining that much, but you know. That's ten grand, you know. Or huh? I'm about to say like you feel what the fuck would you ask for in the first place? Like Oh, okay. Yeah, well, I guess I can't knock you for that one. <laughs> Buddy, it's rocking. It was a ship? So fuck, I was right? Ah, get in. Hey, lady, where are we headed? The sun's going down. Whatever, then, I'll just sit here. Use the shut eye. We're here. We are? Uh, what? Excuse me, what do you mean we're here? Yeah, it's the middle of the ocean, lady. Oh, bursting for a piss, too. Don't you dare pee in my boat. Right there. See it? That a cruiser? Here it comes. Listen. Huh? Okay. Right now, we're short on faith, but shorter on time. Trusting you is a gamble. For your sake, don't let me regret it. I'm not sure I get you. But when someone bets big on me, I pay off. <laughs> Hope so. Hey, how about you talk straight with us? Best place to hide a tree's the forest. Here, we've got something better. We keep precious cargo at sea. Huh? No kidding. I suppose I should say hello, Ichiban Kasuka-san. Now it makes sense. Hiding out on the ocean. Rice was scouring the city, but they were never there. And you, you were the old woman's contact this whole time. You watch your tongue talking about her. When she was a Palekana volunteer, she did a lot of good for people. You don't want to find out how far I'd go to protect her. <laughs> so this is who Bryce is tearing up the island for? It's okay. Introduce yourself. 
Nice to meet you. My name is Lonnie. My name's Kasuga. Ichiban Kasuga. It's nice to meet you too, Lonnie. Thank you very much. Which means... You're Akane-san, aren't you? Hmm, that's right. Akane Kishida. I appreciate all you've been through. Just for my and Lonnie's sake. I'm very sorry. Hey, everything we did was our choice. Yeah, you had nothing to be sorry for. Besides, you're Kasuga's mother, aren't you? We'd have followed you into hell itself. Your boy here knows how to inspire folks. <laughs> I'm so very sorry. How troublesome must it be to have an old woman interrupt your life, claiming to be your mother? To be honest, it still hasn't sunk in. I, uh, I'm not really sure how to process all this stuff. Don't worry. That's a very normal response. Sawashiro-san knew that I was being selfish, reaching out to you. I had to beg him before he'd do it. <sighs> Still, thank you for finding me. It's good to meet you. Oh, come on. <laughs> this is embarrassing. Um, Akane-san, it is okay to call you that, right? <laughs> of course it is. There's a lot we should probably talk about. But right now, your safety is top priority. Yeah, now that we're back on land, who knows when Bryce might sniff us out. Say, Lonnie, have you ever been to Japan? Mm -mm. Okay, well, Akane-san's gonna take you there, alright? It's colder than it is here, but the food's great. If we go there, Akane will be safe? Yeah! Akane-san can rest easy, and you won't have to hide anymore! It's true. Japan's a nice place. Okay. Then, let's go. Alright. We should get moving. Thankfully, the Daidoji faction's here. They've got a lot of pull back home. Daidoji? Yeah. They can get you and Akane-san to Japan in a snap. That sound okay to you, Okane-san? Mm-hmm. Kiyo-san and I knew that we could only keep hiding for so long. We'll put our faith in you from here on. Uh, Kiyo-san? Ahem. <coughs> uh, <laughs> great, great name. It, it suits you. Sorry, we probably should have asked. Don't wear it out. All right, I'm gonna make the call. Hold on a second. Hanawa? Yeah. He said he could arrange a flight out for us. Let's hope these guys are as good as their word. Chitose, everything good? Oh, um, yeah. Don't mind me. Yeah. Make sure it's ready. We'll bring them by soon. Anoa's place is kind of far from here. Think you could get us a ride? The Daidoji safe house is the best spot for Akane-san and Lani right now. I can get you something sturdy, bulletproof. Driver to go with it, too. Just say the word. You may not know this, but I was a hell of a getaway driver back in the day. You may not know this, but I'm a former cop. How about that? Guess we'll just leave the past in the past for now. <laughs> Don't mind if we do. Alright, here to the safe house. Man, why is my mission marked here then? Doesn't that mean we already at the safe house? The hell? Oh. Yeah, yeah I think we about to figure out who you tell us has been working for this whole time. It's probably been Bryce. I'm not gonna be surprised. So someone from the Seri clan. One or the other. I'm calling it now, bro. Oh, I guess you're asking me if I need to do any upgrades and thing of that nature, bro. Hmm. I don't know, bro. I don't know if I really like need to do any like, like anything like that of that nature. To be honest, 
I got my money back, so yeah, I guess we can hold off on that for now. Actually, I know what I can do though. All right, let's go. Okay. Say, Akane-san, mind if I ask something? These people, why are they after the two of you? Uh, it's this. It's what Lonnie's carrying. Huh? Lonnie, would you show him? Um... It's okay. Kuska-san's someone you can trust. Pendant? That's Polycana's insignia. It is. I've seen this before somewhere. Oh. Before. Bryce was wearing one that looked like that. Callan and Dana and the other Polycana followers. They all dress pretty similar, but none of them had a pendant quite like this. No wonder it stood out at the time. This one's unique. It's the sage of Polycana's birthright. It's been passed down through generations since the Order was founded. A sacred relic. Truly one of a kind. One of a kind, huh? But that would mean... Right. Therein lies the problem. You see, I met Lonnie only recently. About two weeks ago now, I think. It was late. Close to midnight, best as I recall. The rest of the orphanage staff had gone. Children were all asleep. I'd been catching up on paperwork, staying overtime. Staying until midnight? I guess you had a lot of responsibility as director. <laughs> Thanks for saying so, but it's a rewarding job. Anyway, it was around then I heard a knock on the door. And there she was. Lonnie, in all my time at the orphanage, no one had ever come to us like that. Alone, in the middle of the night. Lonnie, what brought you to Akane-san's place? I never had a mom or dad. I grew up with my grandma. But then, grandma got sick. She went to the hospital. They told us she wouldn't get better. I'm really sorry. Grandma said, if she had to leave me, she needed to make sure I'd be okay. She gave me this pendant and a letter, and said that in Honolulu, there's a Polycana orphanage I should go to. What was in the letter? It's less of a letter, more of a will, but not from Lonnie's grandmother. It's 70 years old. Written by Pollock Hanna's sage at the time. Now that's pretty fucking interesting. What does it say, Akane-san? I've memorized every word of it. If, in the event of my death, Bryce Fairchild is named Sage of Pollock Hanna, his claim must be deemed illegitimate and falsely gained. <gasps> The rightful sage, as elected by our officers, shall be born only of the Mililani family. To this true successor, I bequeath our most precious heraldry. Oh. The Mililani family has one living heir. Lani. When she brought that to me, I could scarcely believe it was authentic. Yeah, I'm sure. The whole time, Bryce must have seemed like a righteous leader. You couldn't have known he was hiding anything. That's why... That's why I fell into his trap. I called Bryce to ask him about it. You did what came naturally. That letter was way too much to handle on your own. It would have been standard procedure to inform Bryce, I'm sure. Thank you. But standard or not, it was the worst move I could have made. 
I got Lonnie something to eat and called Bryce's number. Despite how late it was, Bryce immediately said he'd come over. That was when I started feeling like something was wrong. <sighs> so Bryce got there acting like usual. Then he saw the pendant and the will. Before I knew it, Lonnie had a gun pointed at her. Oh. All I could do was take her hand and run away. But Bryce's men were already after us. We were being hunted. Everyone in Polycon I used to trust turned on us. But somehow, we got to Night Square, where Kyo-san was willing to give us shelter. You were in my turf from the very start, and I never found you. Ugh, I'll never live this shit down. Don't be so hard on yourself. Since you and Bryce are enemies, it meant Night Square was safe for them. Wait, didn't Dana say that Akane-san left a letter behind? With all his resources, I bet the Sage has a forger on payroll. I guess so. That means the police who gave up looking are probably with Bryce, too. Anyway, if he was ready to kill a little girl just like that, this is the real deal. That night, did he come alone? Mm. Maybe he didn't want his people learning the truth. And now every gang in Hawaii is trying to cover it up. By now, he must be desperate. Hey, Akane-san. What did the will mean about him being illegitimate? From what I understand, the last sage was killed in a robbery, along with his wife. Bryce claims that the sage entrusted his pendant to him as he was dying. If falsely gained means what I think it might... Then Bryce might have been behind that robbery, huh? Seems like the last sage saw Bryce for what he was, according to the will. In that case, this pendant's the real thing. And Bryce's must be... Most likely, a fake. The last sage could have sensed something amiss and switched pendant in advance. Probably, considering what he wrote down. Now it makes sense. Bryce would do anything to keep that secret. So this Millie Lonnie family, what happened? They must have known the danger they'd face challenging him. Even after so long, Bryce is crazed when it comes to maintaining power. Uh, seems that way. And so, the Millie Lonnie family abandoned Palakana for their own safety. Lonnie's grandmother had no ties to them. I doubt she even fully knew the pendant's true worth. She may have only thought Policano would look after Lani if she had it in her possession. Never realizing the danger it put her in. This means... Lani is the real sage of Policano, doesn't it? Uh, <sighs> A child shouldn't have to bear that kind of burden. Policano has gone this long without her. There's no good reason to involve her now. You're right. It's all gonna be okay, Lonnie. Sit tight. Let the grown-ups protect you. The grown-ups. It's really been 45 years. You're older now than Masumi-san was the last time I saw him. You should have seen me in my prime. Uh, sorry you couldn't. I should say the same thing to you, but I've always wanted to hold you again. <laughs> and now, oh, you're much too big for me to pick up. <laughs> yeah, don't want to hurt your back. Thing is, Akane-san, I know you best as the woman Arakawa-san told me about. Hmm? How you carried a newborn out of the hospital? Doing everything you could to protect it? I mean, 
That's just amazing. There was nothing amazing about it. All I did was run for my life. And when I stowed that baby away, I had given up on everything. Akane-san, look what you're doing right now. Running with a child. So I am. <laughs> Some people never learn, do we? But you know, Arakawa-san said to me that... Of all the women over the years, there was only one. <sighs> Even if I've only just met you, I can tell why. Thank you for that. <laughs> Eyes on the damn road. Of course. I'll deliver you safely. I swear on my life, boss. Right here's good. The Daijoji safe house is just up there. Hold back a second. Tetsu. All quiet. Nobody in sight. Saji. Everything looks okay, boss. Coast is clear. That's all I've got for you. I appreciate this, Yamai. It's usually too late for men like us to do right by the people we came from. Hmm. It's us. Kasuga and everyone. I've arranged for a private jet. We're preparing for takeoff now. Another 30 minutes or so. Feel free to rest in the meantime. Oh, that's posh. Perks of being an evil enterprise, huh? Well, hardly evil. We simply maintain the status quo. Can't see much of a difference there. Welcome. I'm pleased you're safe. I take it, you're Akane-san then. At last, we've searched for some time. I'm moved to confess. I'm curious why my superiors find you so valuable. Hanawa-san, you have any tact? Could at least try putting him at ease? Hmm. Uh, let's sit, please. <laughs> What's wrong, Chitose-san? Just now, I saw you trying to call someone. Wh what are you talking about? Hold up. Something wrong, Chichon? That's what I'd like to know. <laughs> Quit playing games, Chitose-san. My phone. May I have it back? <laughs> Chitose-san. Hey, Chichan. Listen carefully, Ichiban. He was never the person you thought he was. Akane-san and Lani aren't safe here. Huh? <sighs> Forgive me, please. I'm sorry. He's been blackmailing me all along. I couldn't tell you. Uh, uh, uh. I'm confused. Is this some kind of private joke I don't get? Chi-chan, how could a be blackmailing you? With what? <laughs> Your guess is as good as mine. Chitose-san and I just met the other day. <laughs> uh, 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 hey! What are you doing? He can move his legs just fine. The wheelchair's a goddamn front! Ichiban, think about it. You used to care for someone in a wheelchair. Masato Arakawa, right? He reminds you of him, doesn't he? That was the plan from the beginning. Get in the chair, play on your sympathies. 
Wait a second. You're saying Achan? You're saying his legs work? He can walk? No. I, I, I'd have known. I, I would have been able to tell. Achan wasn't. He's not. <laughs> Hey, John. <laughs> oh, look at you. Never been a bigger sucker. <laughs> Lidocaine, it's called. It's a fast acting localized anesthetic. At the time, I said, how hard could it be to fake being crippled? <laughs> Luckily, Ebina-san insisted you'd spot an act. <laughs> Ebina? As in Siryu Clan Ebina? <laughs> yes, yes! <laughs> the fuck? Who are you? Disappointing, Chitose Fujinomiya. He never had the heart. Never could see it through. You know what's going to happen now. Your life's not worth shit. Hey, John. You bastard. Ichiban, we don't have time. They're already here. <laughs> Who are you? Uh, <laughs> <Lani>! <laughs> Nah, him being fake in the wheelchair is actually crazy. Now I'm about to really beat y'all ass now. You got me fucked up acting like this. It's old for y'all, bro. I swear to you, bro. It's up. It's up for everybody in this bitch. It's up for everybody in this bitch. You gonna use a gun? Oh, yeah. You personally? Nah, that's crazy though. Hanu has been shot. Someone else was shot too. Yeah, hold on, bro. Like I'm done? Yeah, ain't done yet. I ain't playing the games, bro. No, nah, we gotta get them back, bro. There ain't no way, bro. Think I'm getting stronger. <laughs> On to the next level. Hey, nice. I'm even stronger now.
Lonnie. Damn it. Lonnie! everyone she's unconscious but she'll be okay it's uh not good for them huh? Hanawa san and Wong they were both shot they're dead Son, it's Kasuga. What's happened? Oh no, son. He's been killed. Wong, too. And Lonnie. Only Kana has her. She's gone. Forgive me. Everything. I strewed everything up. So, AJ tipped off Dwight about the safe house. And if what he said is true, he's also got ties to Ebina. I have that right. Yeah. Then if he knows Dwight, I imagine he knows Bryce by way of association. That means it's AJ, Bryce of Palikana, and Ebina of the Seiryu clan. All of them working against us. How could I let this happen? Everything. It's all my fault. Aichan made a fool of me. We're dealing with someone who put himself in a wheelchair because he dug up your history with Masato Arakawa. I doubt many people could see through something so devious. So don't put this all on yourself. Yeah, but Hanawa-san and Wong still died. Honey son got hurt. Lonnie's still gone. And now we're looking for her all over again. I know it's a bad situation. We're at rock bottom. It can't get much worse. <sighs> well, listen, Kasuga. That's all the more reason to keep your head up. Guys like us, all we can do is swallow the pain and push forward. Uh. Kitose. I still don't have the full story. You said AJ was blackmailing you? What did you mean? I wish I could tell you, but now is hardly the time. The police could be here any minute, and I'd rather be long gone. That said, I do need to get something off my chest. Here you, son. Ichiban? Yeah? You've heard of the Tatara channel, yeah? The one that put false accusations on Ichiban and the party, and outed Kiryu-san's existence to the world? What about it? The VTuber running the show, Hisoka Tatara. Well, that was me. What? I'll demonstrate. 
What's up, people? The Tara Channel coming at ya! Ready for another mind-blowing revelation? Cause here it is! The Dragon of Dojima's been spotted in Hawaii! That voice... Chichan? You're her? Yeah. And it was Eiji who pointed me at you. You wrote the script, I did the song and dance. Now you know the truth. I'd say that's pretty damning evidence. Still, I wouldn't have guessed it was Eiji behind all that. <sighs> it's just like you said earlier. Eiji's been working with Ebina from the start. Everything he does is under Ebina's orders. Speaking of, Ebina's starting some kind of garbage storing business with Polykana. Yeah, I heard it from the man himself. Now I know which parts he left out. Well, they've all been chasing Akane-san because she's sheltering Lani. Apparently, he thought sending Ichiban to Hawaii would help lure them out. And to see that through, Eiji's been keeping tabs on him from the moment they met on the plane. As for me, I was just another pawn in their game. Chichan. So it's confirmed then. We're up against Bryce, Ebina, and Eiji in the end. Not to mention Sawashiro. Uh, the captain? Yeah. When Tatar and Ebina outed me, it was right there with them on video. It's true, Ichiban. You put us through some major shit over here. Uh, no, hang on a sec. Did you really think... You really think that's right? What do you mean? I know this might sound crazy, but... Guys, I don't think the captain would put Akane-san in danger. Huh? Ichiban, you realize who you're talking about? He'll do anything and everything to get ahead, or save his own skin. For instance, wasn't he gonna kill Akane-san just to hide his dirty secret from his boss? But he held back. Also, it was for the young master. To give his son a better life. And now... Now that he's lost everything... All he's got left is making good on his debt to Arakawa-san. Think about it. Why else would he let himself get locked up for a murder he didn't commit? There's no way he'd leave Akane-san to the wolves. Not after all this. You're that sold, huh? Hurry it up, Ichiban. We need to go, now! Kiryu-san, when the captain asked me to go to Hawaii, he bowed to me. I know him. Bowing his head to me, of all people, can't be just an act. That's one thing he'd never do. Me meeting Akane-san would help the captain bury one of his last regrets. That has to be why he sent me. And Sawashiro, you really think Ebina hasn't looped him in on his real plan? <sighs> I do. That's true. Then he might not be on Ebina's team after all. Here, you son. Could you talk to the captain for me? Right now, I need to go after Lonnie. If we don't act fast, she might be gone forever. All right. We'll take this from separate angles. Anything changes, I'll contact you right away. Guess we've got ourselves a date with Sawashiro. Anyone lower on the totem pole won't be worth the trouble. So, storming Seiryu HQ's on hold then? Yeah, but first things first, we need a way to contact Sawashiro. Hey, you heard that, right? You know how to get a hold of them. <sighs> like I tell you! Ha! Over my dead body! If I were you, I'd choose my words more carefully. <laughs> Don't waste your breath on this asshole. Hmm? Hey, Sawashiro may be elusive, but he's still in my town. Think I wouldn't already have his number? You were quick, Sunny. <sighs> Something wrong, Psycho? It's just... Didn't this Eiji guy completely pull the wool over Ichiban's eyes? Yeah. 
And now Ichiban saying Sawashiro of all peoples reformed. What makes him so sure? If you told me he was working for Ebina, I'd buy it. Yet somehow you believe him, don't you? Maybe he sees something we don't. After all, isn't that one of his strengths? Uh, how do I respond to that? That's cheating. Well, whoever side he's on, Sawashiro is still a key figure in all this. <sighs> True enough. Okay then, let's get moving. Right. When push comes to shove, you gotta keep your head up. Here you son. That strategy means go what we know. Okay. We need to do to survive hard thing anywhere better. I suppose. Should be a problem to balance the Jesus coming as it is. Who are we inviting? <laughs> well, okay. Anyways, though. Nah, that shit really hit the fan over there, bro. I ain't think. I thought Hollywood was shot, but I ain't think. Yeah, I figured Ro was dead. But I saw Sean got Hollywood. <laughs> God damn. Following my goddamn words. Don't even mind that. But, anyways, Hollywood, bro. I real life got shot in the heart, bro, and the old dude one got shot in the heart too. So I was like, damn, they cooked. So what does this mean for Dai Doji faction then? Are they just gonna sit here and let that slide? Like, be my analyst still. Makes you wonder though, who was his real identity? Because remember at the end of the main race name, he was like, Hana was not his real name. And like they met before. That was where hearts are, etc. It's like, I'll be joining you soon. Nah, that's sad as hell for my boy to be saying that. Memories of Hano. I mean, what happened to the two extra people that was there working with Hano with us? Nah, that's actually fucking crazy, though. I'm not even gonna sit here and deny that shit. Alright. Nah, shit really hit the fan over there. Y'all yeah. have no idea, bro. Shit really hit the fan. Chitose. Let's get her the crown. Alright, let's go. We're going to head to the survival, right? Bro, this shit, this shit really crazy, yo. It's really crazy how things that just really hit the fan so fast, so badly, like. Lining got taken. Now what's going on? Hello? It's Dante, here, you. You remember the place I brought you to the other night? Yeah, I think so. Come by when you're free. I'm drinking all alone at the bar. Okay. But pace yourself till I get there. <laughs> Don't keep me waiting too long then. Might overdo it. Me Dante at the harbor light now? I'm not really in a good mood right now, guys. I'm really not. And you guys wanna fucking fight of all times at a time like this? You chose a bad time. Nah, that's crazy though. Found it. Picture perfect. Hey boy, Hana was not was gone now. One gone. All that fucking work, bro. Thought working on swords. That's why I need to change uh, stuff too. Oh, for Don. Not a very strong weapon, that's for sure. I'll take it though. Revenge. 
revenge racket. Oh, and it's stronger than the vintage racket? Interesting. I actually might change uh, old girl to the tennis shirt. I'm not sure yet. I might though. Fifteen love racket, and this is the love racket. All right. Let's see what else? The host is the one with the bottle. The dancer, well, not dancer, but the uh, yeah, prior or dancer. That's what Namba is right now. She's an assassin. Barmaid, that's like the oh, girl's regular. What about the what about the fuck? Where is it? A breaker. Oh, okay. I know what that's for. I know what that's for. Housekeeper? The splash mob? Should start looking at some upgrades. Should I upgrade this tennis racket and not the vintage racket? Oh, okay, so that vintage racket is weaker. Hold on, bro. So I might well. Hold on, then. I might well go ahead and craft that then. I didn't think about it. If it's weaker than this, the revenge racket yeah, is way stronger. And they both four stars, so it works for me. Alright, let's go, guys. She still has a four-star weapon with the Chicago sound.